Round one. Fight. Fight. Right. That's a freaking Hootley fight. All right, the P-Pro, otherwise known as Cochlin. Here we go. And which camo are we using here? Don't recognize it. I don't remember the name. I kind of recognize it, but... There we go. All right, Maximum Pagoda. Fuso is a very fun ship. The black one. I don't think it's the black one. I think it's like the Inferno camo or something similar to it. I don't know. All right, we're gonna be we're gonna be artsy here. We're gonna be artsy. There we go. How's that for artsy? Artsy fartsy. It's not Shadow Lurker. The Shadow Lurker is like completely black. This one's got like little segments that are not. See what I mean? One of Kong's camos? Hmm. Well, regardless, uh, you are bottom tier. There's a carrier in the game. It's standard battle. Yeah, it is post-apocalypse. That's what I thought it was. So, uh, Fuso, really good guns. I really enjoy the Fuso. She's got good HE, she's got great AP. Generally speaking, good angles, um, good armor. Um, I always characterize her as, like, just a really, really good battleship, you know? Like, just a solid, solid gun platform. Not the best out there, but a very good one nonetheless. A reminder, guys, we do have Stream Raiders going. We've got, uh, what is it, eight minutes to go on Stream Raiders, and it's a boss fight, so you definitely want to bring out your best units, whoever's going to kill most of the enemy, because there's a special skin code for you if uh, you get the most kills and we win. Helena. Behind the island. You're being patient, waiting for yourself to clear the island. You actually do. Wow. Okay, Cochlin, let's see if your shells will hit. Ridiculous. It wasn't just a boss fight to the Mongoose, but we lost it, so we had to fight him again. Nice citadel there, by the way. So meh. Yeah, meh. Meh. <sighs> when am I going to give my announcements, Kitten? What do you guys think? When should I say my announcements? Hmm. I don't even know what your announcements are, so... You've been reading The Expanse, Naval Combat in Space? Expanse is a good show, and a good book. Now, on standard battle, you generally want to be careful not to move too far away from your cap, especially this map, because you see how close the caps are together? You really want to put yourself in a position to where you can go back to the cap and defend it as necessary. The farther you are away from it, the harder it is to get back to the cap. Just some food for thought. Nice and out south. Broadside to you. Helen has a good choice too, because he's coming out? He's coming out. Look at this, guys. Wow. That was an unfortunate hit. I thought for sure you were going to kill him right there, but that's okay. He died. That's good. Yeah, I know, right? You don't expect him to do it, and you're like, hey, 
Nice and I would be my pick over the Byron here because the guy's now is more broadside to you. Um, not sure if your shells would hit though, but I would probably focus the guys now first. Three pens and three over pens. That's a decent hit. Serpits. Bismarck. Ah, Bismarck. Okay, Bismarck's okay. He's backing up and he's kind of showing you some side there, so I would agree over the Turpets to shoot the Bismarck. 8k. It's alright. It's not, not great, not terrible. Slow down, I think. Slow down so that you can maintain your angle better. Yeah, you're trying to hit the super, right? Absolutely. Bismarck's got a lot of superstructure, so sure. It's like a decent hit in the Gneissen now. Um, but my comment about slowing down was also so that you can continue to have shots on Gneissen now without having to turn like you are now. Turbits is reversing? Yeah, you can punish that. Also, slow down again. All right, there's no need to go full speed away. You actually benefit from allowing the Gneiss now and Byron to get closer to you, at least in my opinion. You want to turn because you want to go back towards your cap anyway. Okay. Uh, that's smart, right? Like, we were just talking about that earlier. So many guns. Uh, time to heal, by the way. There you go. He's moving forward, I think. Maybe a little low on that shot. Let's see how it... I don't know if you're going to zoom in and spectate. That shot felt a little low. Yeah, one torpedo, one non-pen. Duckman says, this might be educational. I mean, I like the idea to turn around. I just think you had some good opportunities to actually slow down and just kind of hold there. Um, but you're moving at full speed, which is not necessary right now. Also, that Turpitz is low health and broadside to you. But you didn't notice that because you're focused on the Gneisen now. Like, I would like to see you a full grid square farther south. Your guns are more accurate. Um, and you also project your power more as a result. Yeah, you got the kill on the Gneiss now, at least. So that's good. You're up by one ship at this point. Good use to heal there as soon as it came available. I like it. So now do you shoot the Bismarck over the island? You can. Maybe I'd aim a little bit higher there just to be safe. Make sure your shell's clear. Average RL. 5k, not bad. Oh, your Bastros detonated. That's oof. 
I think that was your one your reason not to slow down. You want to be sure you could still heal. Felt quite low tier at one point. Well, I mean, I, I agree with the idea of, you know, trying to get away and heal. Um, but the fact of, was you weren't being targeted. If you had the carrier planes over you, then I completely agree. Uh, if both of the battleships were shooting at you, I completely agree. But they didn't seem to care that you existed, so I think slowing down would have been a better play. Regardless, hey, you're doing the thing. And you're up by one ship at this point. That's not bad. I don't know that you'll clear that. You put the plane up to try to make sure you will. But... I like- okay, good. You're, you're focusing on the Otago and Shiratsuyu. That's the smart play right now. Another heal. Okay. Yeah, your shell's missed. Probably hit the island. Shiratsuyu detected. Definitely want to shoot the Shiratsuyu. And nice kill. Uh, the last game we did was an FDG game, right? Wasn't that Rob's game? Yep. Cool. So I'll make sure. I think I'll title that one because I think that one's worth putting out on YouTube. I think I'll title it Underexposed because the past couple were overexposed. <laughs> um, okay, so not too much. I, I do like that you went back, Hockland, to the cap. I think that's very smart. Although, look at the last known position of the Massachusetts. He's right in a position to completely obliterate you if you're showing too much side. Which you kind of are right now. You're also heading in the direction of the Shiratsuyu, which I don't like. Um, I mean, look at this game. It's all battleships left on your team. Ah, uh, there's a Shiratsuyu. Okay. I might turn my entire ship uh, just to get the, just to make sure you get the uh, all the turrets on. We'll see. What's up, Jagog? I might not have gone towards Shiratsuyu, but CV hadn't shown so clearly he was on the ball with me. Well, yeah, he was spotting for you, and that's that's important, right? Because you knew it was going to happen, and I think this is going to be a very decisive play. Not only that, but he put plane up over you, so that was good. I like that you saved your rear gun salvo for when the carrier spotted the destroyer, and you can see the results there. And Chaklov takes him out. That's the boom Chaklov of right there, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you guys compliment each other. Absolutely. There's the compliment right there. Well deserved. It's what we like to see. Uh, Snow on Goose is probably like, hey, did I pass your destroyer replay? Uh, JP, what was your destroyer replay? I'm at the point where I'm out of replays that I had listed, so if you sent me one, tell me which one and I'll, I'll just throw it in. Tell me what you think, but I think you'll like that. Well, I don't know what I think I'll like. 
I'm not calling you babe, but nice try. Oh. How do I like the four Sherman? Um, she's fun. Um, don't expect to use torpedoes with the four Sherman though. It's all about the guns. Ah, oh, Glacial uploaded a Kearsarge game. Okay. Div 7 kill game. SJN, I don't remember what ship. I don't... I just copy the file. <laughs> so. You got two torpedoes with the Sherman? That's... That's actually quite good. That's right, Snow Mongoose. Landing those torps is the most fun part, or the most frustrating part of playing Sherman, depending on the situation. <coughs> yep, I did mention this the uh, Massachusetts. And as you can see, he didn't go up the middle. I thought he would have gone up the middle. I did do a, a Sherman replay last weekend, that's true. Quantum Corbuckies, I'm doing fine, thanks. How are you? And when you're done with this, Stream Raider is ready. I see that. Yep, we'll do that, we'll do add, and then we can do a draw. Sounds good. Sweetness. Gonna have to swing back through VOD and see if I reviewed, uh, I did not do your Wukong game. Nice kill there with the Citadel on the Massachusetts. That's, uh, that's good stuff right there. Yeah, I can imagine it was fun. This is where your fruitless chase for a Kraken begins? Well, you got four kills. I mean, the Byron's a good choice. Well, we can do the Wukong game. I mean, I don't... I'm out of replays on my list, so we can do Wukong. Where is it? I see it. It's a ship a lot of people don't really know well, so sure. We can definitely do that one. And Veneto takes out the Bayern. Oof. I'm sure you were salivating on that one, thinking, I got this guy. Just need one more salvo, and then, nope, he gone. There goes the carrier drop. Another carrier drop.
Unfortunately, now you're just kind of sailing around and taking the hits. Um, I don't know if that's what you want to be doing right now, frankly. <laughs> Sure, death pick, right? And there you go. So, I mean, that's the problem with when you're up against carriers like that. They can just focus you down. Two snap, what's up? Having a lot of fun doing some replays here. That's kind of a fun screenshot, huh? Let's let's go a little bit farther forward like that. Like that, huh? You giving up on the crack at this point? Well, that's probably a good thing, because you died. You're gonna win, it's just a matter of time. Well, there's time. Okay. So let's get over to Stream Raiders, guys.